Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video it is the last video of doing our new machinery yard out behind me here. So we're going to take it right back to back in July actually when Rory was still with us and we started drawing in the first stone to put down the base. And um, this video is the last of it but we're going to go back in time nearly three months, crisis a while ago. To when we're drawn in the stone and then we'll pick it up again at the end and show you the finished job so anyways we'll see you in a bit so now everyone we are starting to draw some stone out for the base so um yeah that's where we're at today so i'm drawing a borrow george's uh Brahman trailer on 99 uh rory's in the 7618 with the red rock trailer and bro is going to go with the 6290 and my cousin's wee trailer dumper and um, we're going to get as much stone as we can drew up oh, that's get the next layer of our base in and then we'll buy we'll buy some nice blind and then to go on top of it so that's the plan i get caught in the tree drew in here to do the next level of the base draw on stone not much else to be at the way the weather is just the dries of a uh, very wet July Tipped a few too many loads out there. Should have been leveling them out load after load, maybe. Very few load out here now, and um, it's starting to fill up nicely. So, then is just to keep tipping level, tip level, tip level, and just get kind of stretch it out as much stuff as we can. And then when the cousin comes back from holidays, he'll come in with the digger and start grading and leveling because there's quite a lot here, more than there needs to be. But um, yeah, and then there's, you know tidy up around that and tidy and just grade it all because you can see the height of the shed there so we can't let the finished surf floor be higher than the shed the the concrete of the shed otherwise we could end up with the issue of water running into the shed which we don't want happening so it's going to have to be that bit lower and in time the plan will be that we'll be putting a concrete base out here and putting our grain dryer here permanent uh, permanently so it's all going to need to be concrete and again that concrete has to be deep enough but can't be higher than that shed or it could give us trouble so you just have to imagine now leveling all that out it, it should stretch it out quite a bit compared to what it's at at the minute there it's on par if not maybe three inches higher than the corner of the shed so there's still a lot to be graded down but anyways i'm gonna tip me load get her back around the corner as best can and um yeah we keep drawing and we are flying away here we've arrived at stuff brought out now so we've kind of pushed what we want as far as we want so now we're just going to let off as the last of the stone we have to bring up as we go back that way just so that we end up with nice piles along the way for all for the cousin to level out so that's why um 
We're not going level anymore to shovel or I'm not here. His father Phil might decide he wants to have a go leveling. But there's no need once we got this far with our stuff, then it's only a matter of just dragging it back, you know. It's very easy for the digger just to slew it around. There's no big trying to move stuff around. One thing we have to be careful though is just as we pull forward, the ground is kind of settled in different ways. You just gotta be careful, you know, the ground can be very like that all of a sudden just as the trailer sinks into unfirm stone so just gotta be careful of that because you could just take off and she could give her a fair throw to either side and we the difference between throwing something over or not so something needs to be minded while we're at it but, um, you know it's skipping away there lovely now make the swing around and out we go again so Roy's just tipping load out of red rock there and that's it then nice bit of stuff there so yeah we're father Phil's changed his mind on the red rock and um, we're going to hang on to, uh, hang on to it till the harvest is over just in case we need the extra capacity to be able to work the grain dryer between hopping and chopping loads around the place so, um, yeah, once we get the harvest over, then we'll go sell her on. But um, yeah, so that's going to put a decent bit of a hole into the filling of this. So as I said, just have to get the cousin now, come back now from his holidays, and then level her all out and see how many more load of stone we need then of some more finer, finer quality stone, just to blind it up and leave a nice job of it. But yeah. It's a good start bed anyways. And the cousin is back. So it's our second of September now. So what's left of the hedge is coming out. So I'm just going in to put down the camera and time lapse. See him taking what's there down and um, leveling out the stone and that. So yeah, we're back in business. Another day's digging has been done and the thing has improved something else. Now that is the 1st of September, we'll be taking out X amount of them trees, but I think we'll be leaving it till later on in the year. We're gonna leave it as it is for now, as we're just not ready to chop them down. This is just a little bit more work. We'll get finished up out here because we can get in and out, not too bad, but it's starting to look like something now. So it is really is starting to look like something so we've had a puddle here for god knows how long so when the cousin was here he dug it out and the water is just disappearing this is the clay was like flour but she just had a hard pan on the surface so we gathered up some loose stones that was just kind of in the hedge and they're going to go into that just to put a bit of a soakage hole into it but all the stone that we brought down is all leveled out now and it looks real good father phil just I was already made use of the parking space he took the header the harvester off as we're just getting ready to go to whole crop tomorrow so this was literally out of the way but like the transformation I really am looking forward to when we get the last of the stone out here firing up that drone to see before and after because it really 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 has transformed so the plan is now after ring tomorrow get me load of stone I get about five five load of three inch stone to kind of go out towards the cow box to them stones and kind of back in that area there is yet to be filled in we just didn't have enough stone to get that down get that leveled and then i think some a04 then to go on top of everything just to bind it all up leave a nice finish on it packer roller or vibrating roller whatever you call it whack that into it and leave it good but yeah really really do feel like we've, we're achieving something this year on tidying up because yeah 
that's when that's done the amount of space where we've gained for parking stuff like I can already see all the trailers there tankers there and harrow and moors and just yeah really really happy with how that's coming on also if anyone is interested this yoke is for sale it's an old diesel bowser that they used to use when we were doing a lot of piping a slurry on piggeries before there was all nitrogen rules and stuff and um perfectly grand the tires are probably bust on 100 and that she's 100 percent anyone's interested hit me up we're getting rid of that because we we have no use for it anymore we have a small bowser for the back of the jeep that was literally when they pull into a piggery for six weeks they bring that with them and that had enough fuel to keep them going for three weeks or whatever and then fill it and come back but anyways yeah so next up let's get some good stone in and get that packed into it and we are back out at our um new parking spot and we have the first load is coming so we've three inch down so we've seven load of three inch seven load of three inch down coming in just to be able to bind this area out there and just square it all up nicely and then we have a three load of aho4 coming then after that uh, then to just go on top of everything leave a nice finish it's looking like we're going to have to do a little bit of digging back this side you can just see where the lorry when it's coming in it's just going down here so we're going to have to dig this back up here and try and get some don't know maybe put some fresh some of that fresh three inch down into it just to try and get a more solid base on it because it just seems to be sinking a bit we also have to do a little bit there just to put a, a downpipe on the gutter other than that now yeah stone is coming for another step in the right direction and the cousin is back he's leveling out the stone and we all got three load there was seven load ordered and we all got three load and the cousin coming here early so now there's not enough stone there so yeah it's the fun of organizing things anyway we'll um, catch up with him later but he's just leveling off and getting all that done so tries at the top and we are back out in our machinery park and more work has been done all our stone arrived so we put down six load of three inch down the cousin has it all leveled out i know yet again there's not much footage of actual digging it's hard to be everywhere but um so we have a fully expanded out so now we have a great square of ground here now we have our cow box there that's to do with our pumpkin patch we, while we're putting down stone we put down that but we have a huge square of ground now all tidied up here but this just gives us umpteen amount of space for parking equipment as you can see we already have low load and load and shovel left out here so what we're doing now is we have a bit of a problem with the gutter the shed runs out in here so we're putting down a pipe to take the water to bring it out to a pond here which we're going to put a few ducks and geese into for now this is after the storm so there's a good bit of water now it has soaked away there's a lot more there but the cousin is coming back to fill in the trench and there's some AHO4 coming to level it and we also have hired a roller from Longford Hire, 3 ton roller to pack this in before we put AHO4 on top of it just so that we get a good and level and tight and compacted and all the rest so this is what we're at now and another day another bit of digging is done so the cousin come back i can't remember the fm but anyways we put in two pipes there so one is to catch the run off the shed so as you'll see we put them back here rather than on the corner where it's likely that they'll get struck just in that bit the, the, if they get hit whatever run into the pillar is going to be in bother like but we have one to take uh got her and then the other one is for running a cable across so we can do our pumpkin thing uh that's why that is so we have one load of aho 4 down we got the aho 4 just to be able to blind in the pipes not to be put a rough again it so now the next job is to get on that machine and um roll pack that all in before the aho 4 comes to finish it off you can see yourself like just lining up machines there and then line up a few machines there and you can probably abandon something in the middle and you could probably put a few there like oh yeah it's just it's great to see i just can't wait to actually sit down and just see the, the final 
drone flyby of here tomorrow hopefully get on that machine and get that packed in and ready for some 804 and then pack it in again and then we have to tidy up this area here which get the cousin in just to scrape off some of that muck and then put down 804 here just to blind this all off nicely but yeah it's coming along very very nicely so we have young try out here is rolling and he basically has it done now it's rolled up really well but you can see where you have them little hollows and things like that so that's where that's why we want to get that bit rolling done so we can see where them hollows are so that we can get the a hole four in and filled up but yeah he's done a right job there now so cousin is back with the digger again so a hole four hopefully monday and we get all done and now we are back <coughs> it is finished try spent uh, most of the day he put a good few hours in yesterday with the uh, roller we really hired from longford hire and um, he has it all rolled in and leveled so what we're just going to do right now we're going to take it to the drone see the before and then see the after and come back down then it's it's done like it's done it's unreal it, it, it's hard it's hard to grasp just how much like this was just wasted space nothing there might have been a small bit of that side there would have been in actual usable land but the rest of this done nothing it was just a junkyard was full of rats was an absolute nightmare of a spot and finally we have something done with it i have something done with it we also tidied up the access point which when we are that done that evening like we hadn't set how to do that that day we were father of was like come on we'll go tidy this spot up we tidied that up and i just couldn't get over how much space was out here like it's it's unreal how much space is out here and now we have it we have, we, we literally we actually started parking a tanker up there and you still have lots of space again here just all of a sudden space now we will be taking out some of them trees but we're going to do that when we really start tackling the farm shop which is all this side all this side is going to be farm shop so you can kind of see where we marked it out with pigtails so like you're still another 12 foot or more to the back of the shop so that's next year's project as you can tell ground is quite soft so we're going to wait till march april whenever it dries up and then we're going to start into that for next year We'll have it done. It it yeah, it's 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 mad. We we did have a few machines parked out here, but we took everyone off just to get rolled in, just to pack it down. I think there's one more load of stone coming just to kind of level off a couple of there's a couple of hollows in that in it. We may have the one issue we may have is just that area there where we put in the pipes. We've dug that out two or three times now, put in fresh stone, but it keeps boiling up and it keeps every time driving across it she keeps hollowing out so that could be an issue we may have to dig that out again and try, i don't know try and put in heavier stone to try and stop it from doing that sinking but we now have somewhere to park machinery we can now come out here we don't even have to go into the yard we can come straight out here we can back in our silas trailers we can back in the slurry tankers we can put the moors we can put all that stuff that's usually just abandoned around the yard can now come out here and that's going to free up the yard the farmyard 
and it's going to make life easier. There's no more this thing of everything being in the way of everything else. Every time you come back into the yard with a machine or that, you have to think to yourself, right, where am I going to put this and what am I going to block? Because you're always going to end up blocking something and you're trying to think of what's the, what machine am I not going to use for a while that I can leave it in front of that machine? And it's always been a problem and always, it's, it's time and hassle and bollocking as I call it. But now we have to some extent solved that. What's our plans for out here? The park is in now, but what is the plan for next year? Our plan is to put up a lean-to shed off the back of this, up a down concrete. So when we are finished feeding cattle and the meal has gone out of that shed, we're going to put in a mass concrete wall in the back of that shed, because we're going to try and get that shed turned into a proper vermin proof meal shed with roller doors the whole lot but the first part of that is to put in a mass concrete wall in the back of that we'll go up and down the first bay so we're going to skip the first bay of the shed we're not going to put up anything there we're going to leave that as a open area so we're going to start with our middle bay of our meal shed put down the first bay of the new shed we're going to put up in concrete to put in our grain dryer in here which the tractor can be parked outside with the shaft then in the grain dryer and with the tail of it this side and hopefully get a lean to shed that will be high enough that we can have some level of comfort in tipping our grain trailers into it and the reason we're going with concrete is because it's just easier to keep all the grain and all that end of it clean the one issue we think we will have is the grain dryer is higher than the back of that shed so we're going to have to have a shed that kind of comes over this bay anyways has to come over the other shed so that we can put an off a shoot from our grain dryer into the meal shed so then we can dry our grain and unload it straight into the tree a tree bay meal shed that we can then move our grain around and that will massively simplify the grain handling operation then the plan is to go another bay i guarantee going to get two bays up but then depending on what the funds are like we'll try and keep going we'll get a third bay in we have space for a third bay but to get the fourth bay in of a lean to shed could end up being tight because we run up to the bedrock here like that's that's bedrock there and even the bedrock rises as we go this way there's bedrock there like there's 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 very little we had clay down there but when we got up here we we hit the bedrock so we get three to get the fourth in it's probably going to require some more digging and some more rock breaking but as I said, it's down to funds. We'll definitely get two up. I'm hell-bent get two up, but whether we get three and maybe four is down to what the funds are like for next year. And the plan is to put up a lean-to going out and about 40 foot long so that you could come back with a tractor and trailer, tractor and rake, whatever, and you'll be able to just back in and we'll have the tractors and whatever implement is on, we'll go into the shed. We have enough space to park all the important stuff as I like to say the balers and all that kind of stuff in sheds but we never have anywhere to put the tractors and that's why I want space for the tractors and big enough that you can come straight in from whatever you're doing and just back her into the shed she's in out of the weather that is the goal long term goal is to expand this yard that way not going to happen anytime soon if I get to my tour probably the fourth bay then we'll probably finish this bit for a while and then i'll go try and get some other stuff done in the farm yard because this just simplifies parking machinery somewhere to put things but long-term goal is to clear this expand this machinery yard that way right out to the edge of the silage pit take out the back bank off the silage but put in a proper mass concrete wall what should be there i really don't like them banks be a lot of work now and there'll probably be a good bit of rock breaking to expand that that way and if i get that expanded that way that's going to double maybe more than double the area i have here and then expand my lean to shed on out that way which then if i had a lean to shed the whole length of the back of this we should have plenty of space for all all machinery in the yard trailers and all to be able to be left in the shed all the time two biggest things we done was we tidied up one of the biggest mess vermin spots on the farm it was diabolical the cousin he has his digger loaded up there he said when he was lifting up there were sheets of galvanizing off an old shed that was taken down he said it was chronic what was coming out when he was at that we have that tidied up and we now have somewhere to park machinery two birds one stone but i'm well happy with myself and youtube put this in 
YouTube paid for this. So everyone who's watching, this is, you can say to yourselves, you helped do this because it, it was the few pound I got off YouTube put this in. That's that's what done this. So I can, I'm thankful for everyone who watches the video, supports the channel in whatever way, whether you're buying merch or you're supporting us with our developments with the farm shop. Just, we we owe, we owe ye everything, all these extra things that we're getting done like this is all down to the YouTube. So we're forever grateful to everyone for helping, for supporting the channel. But yeah, it's just hard to imagine what it was and what it is now, but we have it done. Another step in the right direction. Rome wasn't built in a day and I ain't gonna get all these, all these many, many problems we have straightened out, but We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've ranted and raved on long enough. I know we didn't yet see much of the digger running, but you did actually in this video taking down the bit of a hedge and that bit of digging. It's just one of these things. It was, I just left this, uh, as I do say, I delegated. I spread the workload to make sure this got done. It wasn't that I was, had to be here to, be, uh, to see anything getting done. It's just, it was getting done. It's the way to do it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this get tidied up and seeing the place get a little bit more organized. Anyways, that is it for me. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.